Here you can see the hole that I cut out in the panel earlier, and now I'm going to be fitting these sides. So first off, I marked out some lines you can see there to tell me where to drill the holes, and then I drill the holes. And here it is with some sides fitted with the top plate with the two holes in it for the ventilation. Good morning booth builders. It's a nice sunny Saturday morning and I'm out in the garage to get on building my ventilation system for the booth. So I came in here last night just to make some adjustments to this and I was going to fix these in place. These are basically um, you know, ducting connectors. I can connect my ducting to these things. I'm going to fit it to the to this panel here but I realized that this panel's too thick because I don't have much grip on here for the ducting to jubilee clip onto so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to change this out for an 11 mil piece of OSB3 rather than the 18 mil piece that I've got in there right now very simple to do undo the screws take it out use this as a as a template for a thinner piece and just cut it and then put that in there and then <clears throat> go on with the rest of the build. What the idea is, is that this soundproofing pipe is actually going to sit here. I mean all my ducting is soundproofed anyway but this is going to be like a one meter length of soundproof pipe which is going to be which is going to be on my extraction and I'm going to put another piece of pipe here uh, panel here and then my external pipe to my motor which is sitting here at the moment is going to come into here and it's going to suck through here so i'm going to put a panel across there some more wood down there so that this is a, an individual panel and we'll take it from there and here it is already fitted with the sides and the top plate with the holes cut ready for fitting the fittings Uh, a nice tight fit. Let's tidy this one up. <coughs> good. And that's a good fit too. <coughs> now as you can see I have a lot more I have a lot more sticking out so I can grab more with my pipes when I put my pipes on. I've got more to grip onto. That's the whole point of making this bit thinner. Makes sense, right? So now I want to put some acoustic sealant around the edges. This is pretty good stuff and it's pretty cheap. Everflex AC50 acoustic sealant and adhesive and it is a good sealant. I've used it before here and it seals pretty solid but still a little bit of flex in it. I found it to be uh, four times cheaper than another product of the colour green. Oh yeah. You know, I actually want to fill the gaps because it's going to act as an acoustic seal. 
I am going to put soundproofing over the top of this as well, but every extra little bit helps, right? I mean, this sealant really needs about 24 hours to set properly, which is fine. This will be the other one that sits in there. So I want to leave a little bit of space in there because I'd like to put some insulation in between here and some foam on that side. And I'm even thinking of putting some, um, you might see over here, some cutoffs. I've got my soundproof plasterboard. Stick that on the outside. So See, this is the piece I cut off earlier, which, as we know, is, this, is the right length. So all I have to do is transfer this over to the middle and then put a piece in here like this. One thing I want to check, put that in place there. I think I want to put it in like that rather than on the end. I want to put it on the inside. Just there. Square it up a little bit. Okay, so I've cleaned off some of the glue. Now I'm going to fit this piece to, to here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill some pilot holes through here so that when I turn this upside down to drill into this one, or screw into this one, I know exactly where to put it.
I need to put a piece in there. So you can see the basic shape of it. Short pipe in there, long pipe in there, goes inside. Now I've got to cut the lid. That is perfect. Good fit, sir. Ooh. Okay. Now I'm going to drill the holes, fix it, take it off, and get to the insides. Okay, so now I'm going to fit the pipe. sticky stuff
Okay, good. So now I think this is ready to fit the side of the booth. So this is exciting. It's pretty much taken me the whole day and more to build this. So now I'm going to go and fit it. And here it is. This is the finished article. This is the ventilation system, this part of it that's going to be fitted onto the, the wall of the booth. And you can see here they've got some absorption foam inside. And then the pipe is going to come out from there and go into the booth and into, an, into a vent on the, on the inside of the booth. Yeah. 